Paul and Pat, you can see behind us, police still have part of Lexington Avenue still taped off as they continue their investigation. Right now, let's go to some video shot from Sky 2 earlier this afternoon. Here's what we know so far. The LAPD says a man was threatening people in the area with a knife around 4.15 this afternoon. Police say when officers arrived, they say the suspect refused to put the knife down, so they ended up shooting him. He was taken to the hospital and is now in grave condition. Now, we just spoke to a man who said he saw the suspect and police seconds before the shooting. Uh, cops got out with guns drawn. They said something to the man. I was too far away to actually hear what they said. Um, and I was blocked off from actually seeing him on the ground at that point. But I could see he got up, he lunged into the street uh, in the direction of the police, and gunshots were fired, six or seven. And he went down and, and was shot. Did he have a knife in his hands? I, I didn't see a knife in his hands, but after the fact, there was a knife lying in the street close by to where he was. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Philip. Back now live at the scene, you can see police still here on scene uh, going over evidence and also talking to witnesses at this point. Uh, again, we are told that the suspect is in grave condition at the hospital and we are waiting for a public information officer to arrive to give us more information. For now, reporting live in Hollywood, Rachel Kim, CBS 2 News. Developing news now, one person is dead and three others were wounded after a shooting in South L.A. Detectives say the shooter pulled up in another car, stepped out of the vehicle, and opened fire with multiple shots. The LAPD gang unit is on the scene. The victim who died is a 26-year-old African-American man. Officers say there was no robbery involved. Only on to a bizarre and unprovoked attack on a tourist has people on alert in Santa Monica. A family from New York was at a coffee shop.